All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Ritual Crown of Horns. That is a really stylish, like, a splash page, I guess? I don't know, title screen, there we go, that's another one. I, I just, I love, I love the deep reds, and, well, I guess it's pretty much all red with a little bit of purple. But, like, I love that style, so let's just get going. Let's take a look at this game. 18xx, somewhere in the United States of America. You are a government agent on a mission to track down a dangerous witch. However, upon reaching your goal, you found yourself in a deadly ambush. You got butchered by a group of beast-like horned men. The witch finds you in the woods, claiming the ones who killed you were sent to capture her on go government orders. After pledging loyalty to her, you were brought back from beyond the grave by her dark magic and set out to look for answers. Were you really betrayed by those you served your entire life? I don't know. I, I love games with like really vivid styles. Oh, here we go. Here's how it is, good child. The Rotting Cage, the enchantment I used to bring you back, only bounds your soul to dying flesh temporarily. Long story short, you're living on borrowed time, and you're borrowing it from me. But, ugh. Save your breath. I realize you have a litany of complaints, but for now, you aren't even alive enough to voice them properly. It's gonna take us some time, but we need to stabilize you. How? There's a ritual that only I can perform. Simply put, it lets me understand the flow of power in my immediate surroundings, and then control it. It requires absolute concentration and dropping all of my defenses. At the same time, it alerts all demonic beings in the area to my presence. I start the incantation, we get swarmed in a matter of minutes. It might work to our advantage in the end. Here, hold this. My cult? You might barely be able to talk for now, but your natural killer instinct should be intact. Just let it out, they're already here. I'll be able to hold off some, but let too many pass and the ritual fails. And the next thing you know, your life is forfeit. Okay, so movement, turning, aiming, iron sights, shooting, using the revolver, wait for the red skull to appear, shoot after it does for maximum damage. So twin stick shooter. I'm not sold on whether or not, usually for games like this, keyboard and mouse works better for me. Yeah. I don't know. I think keyboard mouse is going to be better for my accuracy, though it seems like it locks you on pretty easily. Everything. Okay. So, just wave defense. Okay. So, they get pretty... Pretty aggressive. I guess I might as well reload. Uh, let's see. I should not be waiting here. Oh, that's a that's a stump. Well, at least I. I'm getting the timing correct, and we're doing alright, and I only took a little bit of damage from the fast guys. However, it's not working out for me here. Hopefully the rest of these are a little bit more like free, free flowing explory. I like the, uh, the skull system. It's kind of nice. Instead of being inaccurate, it's you're hitting him, but you're just not hitting him as, as much. Uh, or for as much damage, I guess? I don't know. It... It's a neat system. I like it. I don't play a whole lot of, like, twin stick top-down things. I think I got my fill when I was a... When I, I was gonna say when I was a kid, but no, when I was uh, in college, I used to play Crimson Land. A fair bit. And then, like, a couple other Ten Tons games. And... After that, my inclination to play a whole lot of like twin stick, any uh, twin stick, uh, twin stick, and uh, 
Hotline Miami, uh, Crimson Land, so on and so forth. Just this kind of game kind of dropped off a little bit. Hoping the rest of the uh, missions are not wave survival. I, then again, I thought I heard there was something about tower defense. There might be there might be some level of tower defense here, which actually would be kind of cool. I I don't know. I I've been itching for a really good tower defense game lately, and I realize that there are some on the market that have come out kind of recently that I've just been skipping. Yeah. Oh no. Anyway. Oh, next for en all right. Dialogue with the controller. Now, now, now. Easy there. Breathe. Let yourself be enveloped by his dark light. There. Or here, good. Three good news, good child. First, the ritual is complete. Now, now I know exactly where we ought to go. Second, I stole these bastard souls to strengthen yours, and it worked wonders. Keep killing them, and you'll return to normal in no time. Souls? Yes. Don't give me that innocent puppy look. These souls were already sold to hell anyway. They won't miss them, and you'll need them. Third, you're about to meet someone who spent the last few years snoozing in this coffin, and I think you'll find him useful. God, wake up. <laughs> I'm awake, but it'd be mighty strange if I weren't, what with all the ruckus and you and your boy have caused. Meet the god of guns, the only man who's ever achieved transcendence through firearms. I came to collect that favor you owe me, old man. Ah, uh, figures. Good child, wasn't it? Beautiful marksmanship. Shame it had to be in service of such a silly pipe dream. He's a rotting cage now, god. That pipe dream is his only way to go back to life. Come, you two. We need one more person to join us. The ley line ends in the swamp. The ley line ends in the swamp. Well, should have guessed she'd hide in a spot like this. Ley line. Magical bloodstreams of this country. Mana paths connecting major man-made structures and landmarks of America. From my ritual, I can map those, track down all movements of government cronies, and plan a way to topple their power structures. But this one time, we're tracking down someone else. I need to call one last favor before we start our little war. I'm assuming we're looking for that little, that charming young sorceress. How do you plan to find her in this vast marshland? Easy. I'll start a ritual and bait every cultist in the state to her domain. That will surely make her show up. Uh. Don't make that face. A gun down will do you good. You're spiritually, spiritually famished by now. A steady intake of souls is important to keep you alive. She's serious, son, but don't worry. I've seen you in action. Your gunslinging's more than enough to take care of those demented psychos. Now, is your firepower adequate? I'm unsure, but your lady took me with her to help you out in this matter. Here, take this shotgun. I ground bones of ten legendary marksmen into dust. Put them in its stock. Their anime should help you win. Okay, change weapons, reload, space ready to dash. All right. Okay. Okay, didn't get them all. Okay. Gotta admit... Revolver... Is possibly better here. The problem is the shotgun does not have much ammo capacity to work with. Luckily, I've got defenses to work with. I'm getting impatient. Okay. Yeah, the problem is the shotgun does not have punch through. Ugh. Better for me to go for the 
quick kills and just get around them with a bolt. I was hoping the shotgun would let me just, like, chop right through them, but no dice. Okay, minute left. Okay. Yeah, so the dudes with their shields just straight up ignore me. Ah. Gotta watch that a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like the shotgun is actually... Whoops. I feel like the shotgun might actually be a trap. Oh, I see. These are health orbs. I got it. Reload speed up. Yeah, I like the idea of little power-ups like that. I hope, I hope there's some level of, like, maybe character customization in this. I'm not entirely sure what it would entail. Wow, that, that is faster. But, yeah, being able to spec into different weapons... Uh, or, well, do any number of things. I don't know. And there they're gone. Excellent marksmanship, son. Like the new weapon? Talk to me later. I might supply with you more fire. Supply you with more firearms. For price, of course. Oh, there will be a price to pay, all right. Only just settled here, and your minions have already ruined my home. Scumbags, prepare to. Howdy, Liz. Miss me? Trish, of course. You're not you're not the one for a friendly visit, so I presume you're here about the bet. Obviously, I'm going to I'm going against the order, so I'm calling in all my debts. Should have paid yours earlier instead of hiding at in a smelly swamp. Frankly, I was just hoping you'd set off on a suicide mission that's successfully suicidal. Just my luck that you'd involve me in one. Gun god shoots upwards, theatrically blows smoke through the uh from the end of his gun's barrel. Glad to see you, miss. God, of course she's roped this. Uh, she's uh, she's roped you into this too. Who's this quiet, ugly, generally unpleasant hunk? Daniel Goodchild, gunslinger extraordinaire, and my ace in the hole. Ugh. Rotting cage, your one sick puppy sister. But I guess the sight proves you're serious about going against the order. Hold on a minute. I'll pack my bags or whatever's left of them. Thank, thanks, thanks you, Trish. Or oh. Wait, what? Or whatever's left of them, probably thanks to you, Trish. And we'll head out. We're almost by the church. Prepare to strike at a moment's notice. For someone who, who had to be dragged out of hiding to participate, you sure started playing leader fast. Oh, you insist on having an adult in the room. And now you're surprised that she's putting herself in charge to be done here faster. I wouldn't call constantly assaulting your travel partners with condescending aggression adult. Relieving your stresses in a responsible way is what adults do to care for their mental health, sweetie. If only you could. And he shoots into the sky again. Tie time to let good child in on your plan, Trickstress. Plan? I'll let him on something better. Magic. Since it seems his master was too inept to arm him with it. Man is... Barely holding on to his body, Liz. I was just taking his rehabilitation responsibly. Letting him take it slow. He's murdering dozens and dozens, Trish. That's not taking it slow by any stretch. Here, cowboy. Close your eyes. Ugh. Chains of Purgatory. A basic spell, but it'll allow you to use the souls you gather to drag your enemies wherever you want them to go. Now you're ready to kill. Just wait for Trish to get over her tantrum and start the ritual so we can open the portal to my safe haven. We can have a talk about your behavior later. Sure, in my safe haven. Good grief. In case magic's not enough, take this crossbow, son. It's blessed with the tears of innocent children. Its belts can pierce through rows of enemies. Okay, there we go. So, three weapons and a spell. Okay, so I can go through these. But they cannot return. Was that? I have no idea. Let's see, E. Ugh. Okay, they are all here. 
The auto aim is actually maybe a bit aggressive for me in this. Ow. Damn it. Yeah, so those fast little buggers actually move past me or, or through me. But yeah, I actually wish this didn't have auto aim. Because uh, it's, it's super difficult for me to uh, line up my shots here. Okay. Oh, boy. I mean, effectively... Yeah. I wonder if I can change it in the settings. Is that an option? Can I go down to controls? Nothing. Okay, we also have... What? Okay, that was weird. So the chain spell is... Is like a frontal arc. Damn it. I want to switch the revolver, but I guess not. Okay. Wow. E? Shock? Man, I have no idea. I mean, honestly... They're already starting to get in. It feels like it's in my best interest to just... hang out in here and start shooting. It's easier than running around, that's for certain. Oh, and I'm dead. Alright. <sighs> Awkward. Because, yeah, effectively what I'd like to do with the... Uh, what I'd like to do with the crossbow... Is snipe through like a whole row of enemies, but I auto-lock on no matter what on... Change weapon, aim. I auto lock on whatever's closest, because that's kind of the offset for being uh, controller related. Or well, that's how you how they uh, they balance out. Wait, what? Oh, well, he'll just be in in there until I can deal with him, or until I have to deal with him. Okay, can I... I missed. <sighs> Those little, like, bear critters are a pain in the ass. But yeah, so aiming just locks me in on the nearest enemy. Okay, movement speed up. Okay, that didn't work. I mean, it's kind of working. I think with some more reload speed upgrades, it wouldn't be so bad. Also some health. Also some other things. Maybe multiplayer? I mean, I, I think I still stand by my desire for... Uh... Well, they're getting... They're getting in. Uh... Some kind of, like, base building mechanics or... Otherwise, I think that would actually help quite a lot. Okay. Well, luckily the basic mobs are not actually anything... ...threatening. I mean, they can be. It's mainly those, like, weird bear dogs that come after you. Those... those guys are a problem. That, and these, like, benches and tables on the ground. I don't know if there's supposed to be cover, but since everything here... Since everything here has, uh, melee weapons, cover is kind of pointless. Okay, well... Doing alright this time around. Mostly. I can barely see that bench on the ground. Souls Multiplier! Would be nice, but like, I'm not even using half the magic right now.
Well, I was supposed to be switching to my shotgun, but you can't switch while in the middle of a reload. Okay. Let's just kind of zip through the rest of this. Oh, well, there was something there. Didn't matter. Yeah, it honestly seems like trying to eliminate everybody, uh, trying to protect the walls seems pointless. After a certain point, you just kind of want to hang out there. Also, the Colt is still just by far the best. If I could properly aim the shotgun and the crossbow, I think it would actually make life a little bit easier. Because I could aim for groups instead of, like, specifically the nearest enemy. Because then I have to spend all of my, my time aiming by, like, repositioning, which is weird. I don't know. Anyway. So how do you like the power I gave you, cowboy? There's many more you can learn. Yes, and I, his master, will teach it to him. Focus on your usual trickery. I will, but oh, cowboy, talk to me later. We might help each other in a different way. All right. Good. Now let me attune the portal your master has oh so graciously opened. Done. Follow me. Oh, I will. Now that you've done your main task, I can't let you out of my sight, you fourth-rate fourth fortune teller. Scratches his head with a barrel of a colt. Like you said, good grief. By the way, son, you're getting closer to getting your voice back? Improving, bit by bit. I'm glad. Now, let's hurry. We might be able to rest a bit behind this portal, but not if those two are left alone and jump at each other's throats. Behold, a fortress from which I will wage a war against America. Behold, my realm, undetectable and impenetrable by outsiders, laying outside of time and space. I'm glad to have you here as my guests. Uh. Looks like this is our new camp, son. Lady Trickstress will be our gracious host. Or Lady Witch will be our courageous leader. Unless perhaps Lady Trickstress wants to gain more fame at the forefront of war against the Order. I'll pass, thank you very much. I'm here to stay true to I'm here to stay true to my word and maybe make a profit on the side. Not because of an insane death wish. There it is. I reckon Lady Witch means for me to stay back as well, supporting Mr. Goodchild with most excellent gunsmithing services. You reckon right. Both you and her are welcome to join the fray, but I'll need you he here more. Goodchild and I should do fine on our own. I certainly hope you do. Well, I'll set up my shop over there, son. Uh, there then, son. Talk to me later if you find yourself aching for more firepower. And visit me whenever you realize your master's magical services are not up to par. But now I'll be resting over there. I bid you adieu. You two should take a breather as well. Oh, you should take a breather as well, good child. Look around the place. Talk to those two. When you're ready to start our war, talk to me. Welcome to Kansas. Rituals hub and your safe haven. You can talk with the witch to buy more spells, god of guns to buy more weapons, trickstress, trickstress to buy additional gear. You have to equip every item you buy in your stash. Interact with a stagecoach in order to open up the map. Pick levels and complete them for rewards, such as blueprints, and unlock new items and shops. You can replay every level you've completed to beat challenges that grant even more benefits. Okay. Okay, so we can... Aha! So... It's not available, but a rapid-firing living gun. So, that... Is at least a turret I can slap down. I don't, I'm assuming the cost is souls. How do I know my currency? So that's the stagecoach. Is it just all the, the horns? Yeah, it's the horns. Okay, so we got the, the colt, the sawed off shotgun, crossbow, butterfly killer, weapon brought from the future by the cult through forbidden spellcraft. Well, it's not available, unfortunately. But here's the question. So I already have it, so there's no, like, upgrade system. Eh, that's probably for the best. And what does she have? Oh, there's maybe more than this. So we've got... Let's see, reduces damage taken, reduces reload speed, reduces... Oh, I see. This gets you more health. More damage. Okay. Unfortunately, almost all of these 
are not things that I can buy. Or if I can buy them, they're so egregiously expensive, getting them is pointless. Okay, well, nothing is available, so I guess I can do nothing. So we've already done the prologue. Now, challenges. Take no damage, no damage to the witch. Kill all enemies with Sharp's rifle. Well, we might as well do breaking out. And then we'll go from there. So there are some, like, traps and whatnot that you can put down. Oh. Well, I solemnly promised I'd break him out of whatever cell he's holding, miss, and I always keep my word. Get who out? We're arranging a prison break of this old man's comrade. He's a, he was very convincing about the benefits this job would bring to our cause. I assure you old Dusty will be of use to you as well, son. Simple job. Break in, break out? Oh, simple job. Break in, break out? No, no. Why do you think I'm here? All prisons in this country are controlled and overlooked by cult, the cult freaks. You'll need my magic to survive. Of course. Oh, boy. It gets a lot more complicated. I'm going to need those. I'm going to need uh, those turrets, probably. Just slap a couple of them down here and there. I mean, if I can even summon three of them, I guess the question is how long do they last and how useful are they? Okay, reload speed up. Yeah, this game reminds me of Neon Chrome, except for instead of, like, exploring levels and, like, completing basic tasks, for the most part, you're just blasting through waves of consistent duders. I'm just gonna use the, uh, the weird magic barriers. Man, he comes on fast. Ow. I guess I am slow when I'm reloading. But yeah, I I don't know. I I do feel mildly overwhelmed, and I feel like this game needs like a risk of rain power-up system or something. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Guess it's time for me to just hang out here. We gotta get get some more of those spells, but unfortunately I gotta go unlock uh, blueprints and stuff to actually make it worth it. Oh. I guess I didn't hit him. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, aiming is virtually pointless. I, I can't even really point myself in a, in a direction. I will just automatically aim on the nearest enemy. Which begs the question, uh, why do I even need to press the aim button? Just, well, I guess... Okay, that does not hit every line of enemy. Uh, that even killed a couple of them, but... Yeah, the shotgun just feels bad. Well, they're mobbing her. The sad thing is, I'm probably going to win anyway. It does feel like the... Colt is by far still the... best option I have. Just because, like, as long as you don't screw up the timing on those headshots, everything just dies. Whereas, like, the other weapons, I, I don't know. I haven't found anyone here who'd fit the description you gave us, old-timer. Well, you were engaged in that magnificent gunfight. I found a letter that might aid us. I hear. I hear. Bye. Ah, oh, my old eyes. That sounded more illiterate than short-sighted. I hereby confirm Dusty Gatewood's transfer to Bruceford ter Territorial Prison. That's our man, Bruceford, eh? Hot hellhole in the east. Looks like our trip's gotten a little longer, youngsters. Um, <laughs> 
What's that? He said he just said or he's just glad he can help. Okay. Uh so oh. Where to get the bloody saw chains? Let's go back to the hub. I wanna try those out, assuming I can afford them. Let's see, cooldown time three, cost small. Okay. So Sub block tango. I just want to try this out and see see how it goes. I I think we're gonna leave this as a one off. I I like the idea of it, but I I don't know if I'm impatient or I will see. Anyway, welcome to Bruce for Bruce for a territorial prison, temporary home of the worst scum you'll ever meet, and dusty, worst of the worst. Well fortified in case of arm, an army of banditos ever came in here to free their boss. Expect he expect heavy resistance. We'll meet inside once you're done. Uh, are you sure he's in there? Couldn't get to see him myself, but I asked around and some someone's seen him being brought in some time ago. I bid you good luck and adieu. Adieu. Oh, dang it. Uh, let's see. We gotta go back to the hub. I totally forgot to actually equip my, my weird blade move. Okay. Can I, like, test it while I'm here? That That's a shame. Okay, Cell Block Tango. So let, let's see this, this Whirlwind Blade move, because it sounds cool. Okay. So it costs a hundred. Which should be kind of fun. I, I don't know. I re I'm really curious about... The duration on it? Okay. I'm curious about the duration on it. And the effectiveness. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it does not last. I was really hoping that I could kind of keep it up, but no. It lasts for like a smidge and it barely does damage. I... Mm, I am sad. I... I love Immolation Aura in, uh... I love Immolation Aura in... Uh, let's see, Warcraft. Like, I always enjoyed like just having a big damage aura rolling. Actually, you know, not even Warcraft, Diablo. I, I remember just being super... Super pleased having like uh, a paladin character with a you know big flaming aura that I could just roll around with. And this is, I mean, suffice to say, like it works. It works for like plowing into groups, but eh. All right. Well, I think we've seen enough. Let's go back to the hub and we can talk about some things for a moment. Odd timing. People are at my door. But you know what? It is a good. It is a good point to to stop and talk about this game. So I think I like the idea of it. I I like the idea of defending a point uh, for a certain amount of time against you know more or less increasingly large waves of enemies. I just I think the core gameplay there's there's a couple of things that like bug me about it. Mainly just the shotgun. I feel like it should either have some punch through. Or it should have, like, a wider range or something. Because half the time I'd shoot it into a group and maybe, like, one dude would die. And then I'd be locked into a long reload animation. I couldn't just, like, mow through a group. Like, one of my one of my favorite phrases when playing a shooter is, there's nothing more satisfying than a good shotgun. And I feel like the shotgun here was just, it needed more, like, oomph. You know, like, even to the point where you could blast down doors and stuff with it. Or, like, cut through, like, a swath. I, I think that's it. Like, I love the cult. I, I think it's really satisfying to just go bam, 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 and, you know, take a bunch of people out. But, like, the shotgun lacked that. And I think part of it is, it, it's twofold. One, yeah, it doesn't have enough punch. And two, you can't actually aim it at a group. It always locks on the closest of the group, whether or not they're, like, off to the side a little bit. So you have to spend an amount of time running around so that you're in position to hit the whole group. And even then, it doesn't do enough, which is a bit of a shame. Same thing with the crossbow. Like... I bet you could do some pretty dirty things with that crossbow, but trying to line it up is not easy. And it all comes down to that auto aim, which is lovely with the Colt and not so lovely on all the other guns. Which is a shame. Like, I almost feel like they should have different auto aim 
functions. You know, the shotgun aims for the largest mass of dudes. The the crossbow tries to aim for the longest chain of people nearby. If you're going to have that aggressive of an auto aim. I also kind of wish the, the gear system was slightly different. I mean, It's not terrible, but like from what I saw, almost all of it was just like damage taken, movement speed, life points, movement speed, damage... Yeah, it's all just per percentages. Very little of it actually seems to change gameplay at all. At all, It's really just like whatever weapons you've got. Which, like, honestly, I don't think this is a particularly long game, so it doesn't need, like, a tremendous amount of progression. Which I think is why I bring it up, because there's actually a fair bit of things here. Like, there's a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna buy, like, maybe a smidge of it. And most of it, I don't know. I almost feel like, uh, there should be, like, some kind of stat... Well, no. I guess this is the stat perk system. I just... I don't know, I look at it and I'm like, okay, well, uh, skill cost reduction. It, oh, it's like all skill cost or reload speed. I mean, it'd be interesting to have... I wonder if I could reduce my reload speed so much that I could just rapid fire the shotgun. Or the bow. That could work, because I could get a reload speed 20%. Do I have any other reload anythings? No. So 20%... 30%. Any of these have reload speed? So 80% total. Eh, no, a little bit more. 85%. If I got the martyr's rags. I... If I got all of these bits of equipment, I might actually be able to have no reload speed at all. Which would be interesting. I'm not actually sure if that would work, and it would probably, like, screw me over in so some sense. But it would be really interesting to just have, like, the machine gun, shotgun, crossbow thing and just ignore the cult entirely. I don't know. If, if I were to play more, that's probably what I'd pursue. Uh, but I think part of it is also, like... It does feel weirdly constrained, constantly protecting the witch over and over and over again. That it's not so much level design as just like little survival arenas. Which brings me back to that thing about, um... Tower defense? Like, I almost wish this game had orcs must die traps. Because if you could- if you were just slapping down traps and- and... Trip wires and- and bombs and a bunch of other stuff, instead of necessarily being full, like, desperado, you're- you're plopping down... You know, a lot more. That, I think, would work better, because I, I actually was really hoping that that spinning blade thing, the bloody saw chains, this was actually something i just leave down there, and it would just chop people up for a while before, like, eventually going away. But no. You know, probably the clockwork machine gunner, That that's probably how it works. But the fact that there seems to only be, like, two, maybe three things, because there's the landmine here. There's two, maybe three things that you can actually put down, and... I mean, judging by the bloody saw chains, they probably also have really short durations or use times. Which means that, like, even if you did slap down several clockwork machine gunners, they probably only last for, like, 30 seconds. And I'd, I'd actually rather it be, you put down a clockwork machine gunner and it goes until something kills it. And that would make those, like, runner enemies a lot more interesting, because currently they just chase the player down, and I feel like, you should actually want to kill them, not for your own survival, but to protect your machine gunners. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, seeing as we have to defend this lady, give us some cool tools to to add to my defenses. Like, even, like, pop-up barricades and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's where I am on the matter. It's neat. Oh, okay. Piercing. Only three enemies. Oh... So this would be better. Also, that I think that's inspired by Warframe, but it could be wrong. Because the Shuge is... Maybe not. Maybe maybe there's actually a Shuge's crossbow. Is that, a, is that a thing? It's a repeating crossbow. The Shuge crossbow. It, it is a thing. Or Shuge? I, I don't know how to... But yeah, so repeating crossbows are, are literally... Something from here from the King Dynasty. 
that's neat. I never knew that. You learn something every day. Anyway, I guess with this, I will see you guys on whatever I play next. Because, yeah, I'm going to leave this as a one-off, at least for now. I got too many games on my plate, and it's fun checking them out, but it's also fun moving on. So if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, oh, I've got so many. I've got so many. So, with that, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.